Hi, we're Quiet Company. I'm Taylor. I'm Tommy. I'm Matt. I'm Cody. Jeff. And we're at CMJ. We uh, we 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 had the opportunity to to re-record our first album completely from the ground up with the you know the whole band instead of the uh, the first time it was recorded. It was just uh, just Taylor and a uh, a super famous drummer, and uh, and now. Yeah, now we got to uh, we got to just kind of reapproach the entire thing, and uh, make a what well, I think is a really really great sounding album, and uh, some new bonus tracks. We got to release it on vinyl. We get to uh, we get to release it at all because uh, of ownership reasons. Yeah. yeah, which are boring and legal and no, not rock and roll at all. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, it, I'm very proud of it. I think it's a it's a great sounding record. So, I mean, what made you decide to go for re-recording that record rather than producing producing a new one? Did you just want to give it that, uh, something you felt it deserved? Yeah, it, it, it needed a little bit more, like, it needed some legs. Um, I, I think that it was, it was out of print, and, um, and we, like, simultaneously we were working on new music, but uh, we don't have the, or at that point we didn't have the collection of songs ready to go for the next album, so... Um, when we had the the time to do it we figured we'd just you know do something that's it's been kind of it's been a project that's been on the back burner for us for a few years now we've talked about it a few times and it just never really panned out that there was time to do it until just this last year and uh and so we kind of we kind of squeezed it in between the christmas album that we recorded and uh and the ep that we were tracking so and then, like, uh, also, uh, definitely the re-record of the record uh, and the Christmas EP that we that we did of like cover songs, it uh, it coincided with uh, the band uh, becoming a, a totally independent uh, sort of uh, full-time thing for all of us. So there were a couple uh, n- unromantic, uh, shrewd, cold-hearted business decisions that got made, and so um, you know we were looking for. Um, nice sounding songs that are to get these songs that um, that we feel like you know deserve licensing opportunities to have like a real uh, professional recording and then um, uh, and, and so there, there we that was a motivation as well what happens after a CMJ for you? what's next why don't you talk about the trip that we're doing right now um, well we're, we're going down to Atlanta when we leave here we're gonna go meet a guy uh, hang out for a little bit that may produce our next record uh, and then we're gonna go home, and we've got a small, like five or six day run with the Alpha Revs, another band from town uh, that, that's kind of bigger. And uh, we're gonna do a that Texas run. Then we're gonna take all of November and finish writing our record. And then we're gonna be doing a lot of we're gonna be doing a Kickstarter throughout that time as well to you know help pay for the record. And uh, gonna really try to make sure that we do this record the correct way because that's nothing something we've never tried to do. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, with a producer and national distribution and national tour and publicity and all the things that it takes that, you know, to actually give a record some legs, um, we're going to try to really give that the old college try. So in the Christmas time, we always do, you know, some Christmas events that are pretty fun. And, uh, and, and then probably beginning of next year, we'll go into the studio and we'll record the thing. So, and then all of next year will be, if all goes according to plan, will be spent, you know, promoting that record when it eventually does come out, which we have not set a release date for. Yeah, we've got three songs that we're, that we put in the set all week, um, and they're, they're doing well. Certainly, uh, one of them is, is certainly kind of performing well, I think, and uh, we played it on Balcony TV yesterday here in town, and uh, so I, 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 we're I we're excited. I think it's going to be it's going to be an interesting record. So. Well, looking forward to seeing what happens with that. And uh, you mentioned an EP that kind of went on the back burner. What, what yeah, well, it was kind of a pet project of mine. It was a it's a small collection of songs that were all written for and about my daughter. You know, and uh, so. We it's it's not completely finished. It's probably somewhere around the eighty to ninety percent completed. And but we just kind of had to make the decision of like, is this should this be the next thing that we put out, you know, or should we really focus on the next record? And we decided ultimately that the next record should be the next thing that comes out. 
Um, so we've kind of shelved it for the time being, and uh, we will eventually go around and put the last few finishing touches on it and put it out, but it probably won't be till after this record is kind of done. And CMJ, how's it treated you so far? Uh, it's been... We'll let the, uh, the, the good time... Yeah. I'm here with Quiet Company's Good Time Party Committee. Um, no, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just me. It's just me. And Jeff hangs out, too. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I think the response at shows has been great. Uh, we've played a lot of them. Um, we've been... Yeah, we uh, last night we did a, a, a party at Tammany Hall that was all Texas bands. And so we had friends of ours that shared the bill, Tauntauns from Houston uh, and Wild Child from Austin. Um, it was man Ishi from Dallas, and they were really, really good. It's just an awesome, awesome set of bands, and uh, it was kind of cool getting to have a little family reunion up here in New York. Uh, it was great. I don't know. Uh, it's just kind of that's kind of how I feel like it's been been all week. Been running into people I know all over the place, and everyone's having a great time and getting to play some good music. How many more shows do you have? We just got one more tonight uh, at Sullivan Hall. Yeah. And then, uh, and then back to Austin, or do you have head elsewhere from here? Uh, just rolling by Atlanta to do a little bit of uh, pre-production work on the record, and uh, then I think we're going home. <laughs>